name is David Doyle. I am 72 years old. I live here. Been in my shed since 1983. Kids have pencils and papers in their hands and that keeps them happy. Uh, at some stage they give that up. The only difference between oh, them and everyone else and me is I didn't. Oh shit, as I should find it for you. What he's done, oh my goodness, I hope one of the girls hasn't taken it. He's done the most amazing picture of, of, a, of a bunch of flowers. I've got it framed somewhere, but I can't seem to find it. It's, it's only tiny, like that. But, but yeah, so that's another one. And, and yeah, as you can see the others, you can, those two are my grandfather. That's hanging up in Queensland somewhere. So he's got, he's got paintings hanging all over the world. Apparently some of his paintings have gone to Swit, uh, Switzerland or Sweden, a number of them. So. icon is what's the second one of these I've done I found another another picture I liked and I thought well I, I will do it I eventually found a, a good good picture of this one from a, a book in the library Essentially, the image is a stock image from the Byzantine period called Christ Pantocrator. Uh, what does that mean? It's sort of Greek for the, the power of all things, I suppose. as you know, with what he's done. He's, um, I don't think he's ever got the recognition that he, you know, deserves, but then um, most famous artists um, get famous after, you know, or, or get, you know, get a following after they've passed away. I've taken the reference photo and I've got it photocopied up. I'm looking at that, I, I liked everything about it except the hands. The hands are, well, one's obscured and the other's rotten, so. Yeah. Um, black and white. At the moment, I want it um, two hundred percent, mm -hmm. and then get it home, assemble it, and then um, get that up to a, another one hundred and fifty okay. percent. Ah, it's all done in one. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. Bottom bit a little yes. bit. Yes. Okay. Because so I need the hands. Okay. No worries. It's like almost like um, threads or lines going around, wavy lines, you know, things interlaced, interlaced pattern of. Oops, where are we? Aha, <laughs> yeah. Put the hood on and then we, that. yes. Yes. And raise it, extend it. Yeah. Now, actually, if you could just do the movement from wet down and then raise. Yeah. 
let there be light. <laughs> And that's another one that's in Wentworth and my brother owned that hotel up there. Because it's a small house, we really, these sort of paintings should be displayed where you can actually stand in front of them. But see, he's up here in the corner. Can you see? Can you see he's got himself in the little corner? Just there. He's leaning up against a tree. <laughs> so. If I've got to stand next to the painting and explain everything to everyone, I've failed. It's got to sit up on a wall and give of itself for the rest of eternity, shall we say. A painting's got to, uh, and it's got to hang on a wall and keep giving, and people come back to it and they get something from it. I live in in sort of a uh, very low scale constant dread that one day I won't be able to do it anymore. There was a break some several years ago where I wasn't able to do it any, anymore and I just couldn't do it and didn't for six years. When I got back to painting, uh, I mean it's left the scar that I'm worried about, it, always worried about, it, always thinking of you know, ways and means of getting getting by. You look at it, because a painting is just a series of problems to solve. And when you can't think of anything more to do, pretty much that's it. And you, you know if a problem hasn't been solved again, it jumps right out at you. And when you look at the painting and nothing's jumping out, you think, oh, that's it. signed his, his name was DDT. I don't know why, you need to ask him for that. Um, and that was 1969, I think they're both 1969. We're supposed to have a creator God. Now he's not going to turn his nose up at a painting, surely. <laughs>